Yo, what is good everybody? It's your boy Boone coming at you guys with a brand new video. Um, you guys, the last two days on YouTube have been some of my best like statistical days on YouTube ever. Um, like, thank you guys. I keep on saying it, but you guys are just killing it. Like, thank you all so, so much. I cannot wait to cook it up tomorrow on Supreme. So let's jump into this new video I got for you guys today. We're gonna be talking about stock X prices of week one items and just kind of discussing like what's going for what right now. Um, my surprises, things I'm not that surprised by. Hopefully I'll be dropping some new, like not quite so Supreme related videos after this live cop happens tomorrow. I know I've been just like absolutely beating the hell out of this Supreme topic um, of week one, just like the new season, but your boy's excited, okay? It's a fire drop. I'm excited about the season starting, but I'm gonna stop doing this long ass intro. Uh, my question of the day today is very, very simple. Do you guys think I'm gonna cook tomorrow or not? I'm very curious to see if I got some haters or some lovers down in the comments. What? God damn it, bro. What is up with these sus ass comments? I cannot help it. I just called people my lovers in the comment section like what is going on with my head today I don't know you guys have just been making me like feel insane with all the support so I love you guys so so much let's jump into the today's video we're gonna go on StockX look at everything that's dropped on week one keep in mind the only stuff on StockX right now is stuff that was copped from the New York in-store drop so that does mean these prices could be possibly inflated a little bit maybe they'll even go up some who knows let's jump into the video I hope you guys enjoy look at this screen you guys if you didn't know my last screen was absolutely shattered like that shit was so hard to use but basically I just went on here and looked at the most popular items from week one um, and very surprisingly the diamond toolbox is like the most high selling item right now I do believe these are ranked in what's selling like the most in terms of like just gross numbers of sales so surprisingly this diamond plate toolbox is what's been sold the most from week one retail for this was I think like 130 or something like that well yeah 128 and they're going for 210 um, this I cannot really see lasting too much I mean maybe it could it's definitely a cool toolbox I was informed that you can take the inside out, which is a very nice addition to it. It makes it a lot better. However, I still am not completely sold on this item. I definitely think once more people cop them from the online drop, the price is going to be going down a ton. And just because it's such a heavy item, I definitely think it's going to weigh a lot and be a lot of money to ship. So I don't even know if I'm going to go for this one. I don't think I'm going to. Next, we have the thermos. Um, I'm not surprised this one's going for a decent little penny. Um, it's really not like that crazy. It resells $20 over retail, but this is one of those items I could definitely see going up more in the future and I might even be making some back to school video talking about what to cop with Supreme back to school this would be one of the items because um, obviously it's perfect for lunchtime you can flex on shoddy with not just your spoon but the thermos itself which is big time clout in the high school realm I already know look at this dude um, that was a weird sentence I don't know let's keep going though I think I might cop that myself backpacks I usually would not cop the backpacks definitely going backpacks this year um, the black seems to be selling the best because it's obviously the most basic color Away. Moving on, I'm curious what you guys think of these shoulder bags compared to last year's bags. Um, I know that these shoulder bags are definitely like a lot bulkier. They went back to an older Supreme model they used to do with shoulder bags. Personally, I do prefer like the smaller ones that aren't quite so big. So I'm definitely not going to be keeping mine, but I will be going for the shoulder bag. Black colorway seems to be selling well. I mean, they're all going to be selling well, but I guess you could say it's what's selling the most right now. Um, the red waist bag easily like without a doubt is going to be the best selling colorway of the waist bag and shoulder bag. Red just always sets it off with Supreme. So I definitely go for that color if you're just looking for highest resale. Personally, I want that yellow um, waist bag because I love the color of it so much. I'm definitely beginning like a purple, maybe red shoulder bag. Um, let's keep going. So yeah, there you can see the backpack going for more um, than the black backpack, the red colorway. Utility bags, I'm definitely gonna be going for. This red colorway is setting it off, you guys. Like I'm telling you, this red utility bag is gonna be selling for a lot of money. This is the black one. Here's the red. See, I told y'all, I told you, I didn't have to see that 108. Uh, that's a lot of money folks uh, red shoulder bag like it's hovering around the exact same price as the other ones and now this Mophie case that's a bit of a surpriser for me that Mophie's going for so much once there's more of these cop from week one I think the price of these is gonna go down if the price does end up falling for these Mophies I would hold on to yours I've said it like a billion times but I guarantee the price of them just keeps going up over the season um, liquid tea obviously is gonna resell definitely have to grab one of those but I would not go for it in your first cart because this Madonna tea is just going ham 250 like are you kidding me highest bid right now 295 like 
Bro, that is insane. I can't actually believe how much these are reselling for already. This black colorway is obviously like the best colorway. It just makes everything pop the best. Um, but the other colors are still selling for like a decent amount of money. They don't have them up on StockX right now. Well, actually they do, but I don't know where they're at. They're not on this page, so we're gonna keep going. I will say with the Madonna tee, if you wanna ensure you cop one, do not go for this black colorway. It's gonna be like probably the quickest to sell out. I'd go for like a gray colorway, olive, that light yellow. Those are gonna be the ones that get more overlooked, maybe even the red and still have some resale value. I mean, every one of them is going to resell. You might as well just like make sure you secure the item instead of losing the bag. You don't want to lose the money. Um, so I just make sure you secure the item. Go for like a less sought after colorway if you're a little worried about not being able to get it. Um, and I need to talk about these hoodies, bro. I just love these hoodies so damn much. I almost want to cop one for myself. Like I'm trying to resist because I don't need to be dropping 168 or whatever the hell retail is for these. Yeah, I was right. Um, these are so clean though. I just love that cursive look on them. Um, this green one, oh man, the red one. Whew, like, these are just such clean hoodies, man. I really want one. Like, oh man. Mm. This is me just trying to resist buying one of these. They are one of my favorite hoodies they've dropped in a while. They're just so clean. Oh my god, bro. Just looking at the colorways makes me want them more. Um, but let's keep going. I'm gonna stop nutting over these fucking hoodies, bro. Uh, the Mofi and like the smaller versions going for less money. So again, go for this bigger case, the plus. You already know we plus size out here. We only like them thick Mofi cases. None of that thin bullshit. My Mofi case does need to have a bubble butt rear end for me to cop. You already know I'm all over this waist bag. Yellow colorway. We there. We pulling up on this one right away in the bag section. Bro, that should be so hard. Um, but yeah, the Mo Motion Logo Varsity going for a ton of money. This might go down a little bit or it might even go up after the drop. I'm not quite sure. Definitely gonna be going up in the later future though. This is gonna become a hot commodity item. Again, I have to like fight myself to not cop this one because it's just looking so damn nice. Um, it's got the red on black Motion Logo, which is the best, like most popular Motion Logo colorway. Uh, geez, bro. I love that jacket way too much, but I feel like if I even try to go for it i'll take an l and it'll kind of screw up the rest of my game plan with my cart we have this still life tee which is surprisingly not going for a lot of money at all if you guys are confused what tee this is it's this one um i don't know why they don't have a picture in the black colorway but i might even go for this terracotta colorway because it looks like these aren't really selling too well otherwise so i'm a little surprised these supreme reflective camp caps are not going for very much money resell right now i'd maybe stay away from these i could see these going up though more so in the future one of the problems with week one and one thing i've noticed with it is oftentimes there's just so much heat because of that some items won't even be reselling for that much money right away but later on down the season they will just absolutely take off and resell value these striped shirts that dropped week one are a great example of that they were very overlooked last season all of a sudden just took off and resells so don't get too caught up in the resale values like directly after the drop just because some items could potentially just take off afterwards um, but yeah I guess we're gonna wrap up this video a bit now that we're towards the end on um, this nylon plaid pullover some people were surprised I didn't like this or really talk about it i'm a little surprised it's going for so much money resale right now i came and lie i don't like it very much but you guys seem to be rocking with it um the shorts obviously are reselling i'd go for those uh every t-shirt i would definitely go for this is one of my favorite t-shirts i'm actually maybe copying one of these for the personal um i honestly would go for every single t-shirt i am going to be doing that personally then again i do have enough money that i can hold on to the shirts for quite some time if you can't do that maybe try to limit that amount of t-shirts you go for um of course this stopwatch isn't reselling selling bro people were all telling me about how this stopwatch is made by some like watch company and how i should know that bro like do you see anything on these wrists bro like i ain't got no bust down i ain't got no rolly we ain't we ain't trapping like that in any way on my youtube page bro like youtube not giving me that type of check so um miss me with all these like designer watch brands i don't know shit about them my apologies um definitely not copping this though major brick alert in my opinion i hope you guys enjoyed this video drop a like if you did i don't really know what else to talk about there's so much stuff dropping week one i've talked about it a lot so if you want to look at my older past videos if you've missed them there's a lot of really good information about this upcoming week in those videos oh i know you guys did not think i forgot to rate a subscriber's outfit at the end of this video because i totally did forget um but shout out to the homie a carson bro killed it absolutely murked this outfit it's funny i actually copped these shoes myself they're my favorite lafleur shoes that tyler has done these yellow ones just hit so well bro the mustard is amazing i can't decide on the outfit to actually wear with them though you guys gotta help me in the comments my boy carson though absolutely murked the game with this crash bandicoot fit we turn it up shout out to my boy trippy red one time whoa 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 apparently he thrifted both the pants as well as the shirt which is super sick people that send me fire from the thrifts like dope vintage i gotta shout out especially when they mix it with the streetwear and like other hype 
stuff. I know you guys are probably cringing at me calling these shoes hype, but like in a way they are. There is a lot of hype around these shoes. I give this fit a 10 out of 10 though, bro. You killed it. Also, I have to say the faded jeans are lit. You already know we get it faded off our jeans. Um, shout out to my homie and shout out to my cringe one time. I hope you guys enjoyed this little segment again of me rating your outfits. Send in your pictures, boonfitpics at gmail.com. Shout out to all you guys. You already know we finna cook it up tomorrow, bro. I am so beyond excited. This new laptop has me feeling myself. I'm not even gonna front. Like, I'll be feeling real nice on this shit. Um, I'll be gliding around the screen. I can see my full screen actually, which is crazy. Uh, oh my god, you guys are not ready for this live cop tomorrow. We finna be going brazy on the Supreme site. You know how we come in, dropping bands. I'm not gonna eat for a week straight after this drop because there's so much heat releasing. It's all good though. I don't need nutrients. I just need Supreme. Spend your boy Boone. I'm out. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in tomorrow's live cop. Peace.